Hello world, I'm a cop. Welcome back to Shader Kings 2 Holy Fury Olu Madness, where we are Tietea Pilvi Blood Axe. And we're in a very strange situation where we have one guy in our court, Ratek here, who will be willing to buy a who will be willing to sell us a favor for 20. But he won't do that before he likes us a tiny bit more. So we're gonna need some money to send him a gift. You know, actually let's just send him the gift right now and see if is it still yeah, the favor is still 20. Right, and if we can buy that favor from him, we can make him into a counselor, and then we can change some of these laws, which is something we really, really, really want to do. So we're just going to be raiding here for a tiny bit, just to try to make that 20 gold here. Terrain is the key to winning battles. If I focus my studies, I believe I can master tactics of any one type terrain. We're going to take Winter Soldier here. Winter Soldier is awesome, especially since we are here in the north. Right, and now we're just gonna need to burn this place down. What is happening here? The last few seasons have been treating my capital Pohya Marvel, and by well, I mean excellent. Trade is flourishing, and even most peasants seem fed and happy. While I do take some credit for this prosperity, I am convinced that my ancestors have been protecting us. So, booming! Uh, local build time modifier, local build cost modifier, local revolt risk, local tax modifier, supply limit, disease resistance, and levy enforcement rate all change a tiny bit. But that is fine, at least it gives us a tiny bit more gold. And I have a new heir, High Chief Tesrao of Karelia. Why? Did someone die? No, why did you change who you were voting for? Like, I'm voting for uh, Metta. Metta. Why aren't you not voting for Metta? Uh, what is problem with... You dislike her? She's too austere. She's ugly. UGLY! Oh, she's malnourished. That's probably the problem here. Metta, get yourself in... You know... To sort your life out. And you'll be the next leader here. Hey, someone has... Turn to wait. Are you actually doing your job somewhere where you should be doing it? Let's just make sure you are. Hmm. Here, change the old Swaman Usko to new Swaman Usko, please. Oh no! Oh no! There's a very big army coming here. Run away! Run away! Oh, we can't get away. While looting the holding, one of your men came upon a strange looking key made of an unknown metal. You have only seen such a metal once before, that mysterious chest that has been inherited and passed along in your family. Still gathering dust somewhere in the chambers. Could this be the key that opens it? Let us find out. Now. Oh, a small fortune! The key fits the lock, and trembling with anticipation, you slowly open the chest. It is filled with ancient gold coins, carved with the likeness of the long dead emperors of Rome, and words written in their strange language. The 200 gold! Okay. Hey, what could I usurp? Lots of stuff. Wait, I can usurp the high chieftain of Karelia. It's gonna cost me 180 gold. I I can just uh, revoke it as well. But the council will be again. But now, now I have the money. Rateg, Rateg, take some money. Sell me that favor. Yes. Uh, these guys just need to run away from here. Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Okay, now, yes, he took the favor, so we're gonna make Rateg into our diviner. And Rateg, we are going to call in council support. Yes. And then we're gonna change this to ruler. We have half supporters, half opponents, and we are the deciding vote. So yes, this is going to happen now. Good. Yeah, we lost that battle, but that wasn't surprising. Now we can start actually getting some of our titles back. Nice. Okay, now we ha they have approved the ruler title revocation sovereignty law, and someone died. My steward died. Well, let's make uh, Atzo here into our new steward. We'll have him sell tribes here in Sweden. What are these? Bloody raiders. Let's go smash them. And now, now... I can actually take back the stuff that I want. So, like, High Chieftain of Karelia. I don't want it right now. I want Kainu back first. Give me Kainu! Thank you. 
I always knew my ambition would help me reach great places and to acquire some wealth during the way is always enough. But gold, diamonds, or uh, wait, gain 3.3 gold. That's not very much. Okay, good. You gave me that place without any fight, and I want uh, Kaki Salmi and Sortavala, and then I'm gonna. You know what? Where are you? You, you are the high chief of Karelia. So, what are you gonna think about the fact that I'm gonna revoke your title? Well, you're not gonna like that very much, but are you gonna go to war? Nope. Good. You're also no longer Chancellor. Why did you lose the Chancellor spot for there? I do not. Nope. But I will then revoke Kakisalmi from you, and then I will revoke Sortavala from you. But you look very... S no, <laughs> actually you don't look very similar at all. Okay, got Sortavala. And got Kakisalmi. Ah, so now we need a new chancellor. Vanna mm, Mochithis of Deltova, why do you dislike me so? Revoked vassal titles. What? I had... I had the right to those. I had the claims. Did I just revoke something I didn't have a claim for? No. Some... I'm not sure what's going on here. Well, we'll just make Vanna into our... Or Vanna into our chancellor and we'll have her fabricate claims on Vienna here and then we're gonna give some of this Swedish land away to I don't know what let's so we should probably give all of this away but I, I want to hold on to something that is for sure so we'll give Dahl away so search realm uh, ruler no my religion, my culture, who's got the most martial? Lemmik is by Master of Chud. Okay, you can get Dahl. Or is there anyone of my family? Let's see, see what my family looks like. No, oh, my dynasty, please. We have Metta here. We could give you Dahl. Would you like to have Dahl? You could have it. The council wouldn't be opposed. But you have quite a lot of claims. Eh, I'll just give it to someone who's not even of any great family. So, let Mickey here. You can have Dahl. There you go. And we can make you into a commander as well. That would be actually very nice. So, now everything is in order. Do we have any... We have uh, non a great, no truce with Ragnar and with Gastro Clan. Could we attack Finnmark? Hmm, we could for a holy war. But we have to go through Sweden. Okay, let's see. What are part of Scandinavia? We could attack Denmark here, though. Denmark? What is your situation? You can get, like, a total of uh, 6,000 troops. We can get a total of 14,000. Yep, so it seems to me like a holy war for Viken would be a pretty good idea right now. Let's do that. Denmark. Declare war. Great holy war for Viken. Right, you are all for it. Let's raise our troops. Let's call in our allies. And let's go smash. Denmark. First of all, we're gonna go smash these raiders though. Where are they from? Helsingland. Who is this guy here? Thorbjorn of Helsingland from the House Refer. Okay, you are on my list now. Right, killed those dudes there. Hmm, there's a small, well, not that small army. Well, th that's a small army. That one we can kill with just these guys here. The conversion of Drevliana. Drevliania, yeah. The tribes of Drevliania have been converted to Orthodox faith. Where? Who? What is this place? Interesting. Okay, you are not even any de jour, so you're over here. Huh. Interesting. Right, but that doesn't really matter to us that much. We just want to smash the Swedes and Norwegians here, or D Danes here. Actually, Danes, what are you? You are Germanic. I think you were 
something else tiny while ago. Yeah, this guy was uh, Slavic. Was Slavic Pomeranian? <laughs> okay, the, the weird stuff happening over here. But we'll just go. Wait, Peasant Revolt, Borovici. Where is that? Blasted traitors over there. Could you guys go and deal with those, please? You guys, come on. Ah. Well, probably not, but it's fine. They only got 282 troops, so. Ooh, ooh! Don't, don't go there. Don't go there. Wait here for a tiny bit before you, that you get some more guys here, and then go there. Pohyama prospers. As the prosperity of Pohyama increases land, which was previously considered marginal, is increasing in value. With the proper incentives, it should be possible to clear enough land to found a new holding upon. I know a good deal. 70 gold! This is the cheapest I've ever seen this thing be! Well, of course, it's like everything, or pretty much everything in this game, it's tied to my yearly income, so I, my, my yearly balance is quite a lot on the negative, so yeah, but one holding the Pohyama, that's awesome! Because uh, the empty holdings just increase the size here, right? Empty holdings loss interest, that's an extra plus 50. Holy crap, that's quite a lot of troops for us. Okay, we won that battle. You're a prisoner. Mm, are you worth any money? Nope. Unfortunately, I am not part of the Brotherhood, the followers of Otso, so I can just sacrifice him. Also, I just noticed that we got quite a lot of factions here. But, yeah, none of them have any, any power, so it's fine. We'll just go and conquer Denmark here. I have a new heir. It's Meta this time. Yeah, well, she's the one I wanted to be my heir. Why are you voting for her now? Are you probably... Because <laughs> whoever it was you were voting for before is just uh, not good enough for you now. Apostate found Rateg. Rateg. No, no, no. She. Oh, he's not the apostate. The apostate is Mielik. Yeah, burn the apostate. Rateg, you should be doing something else. You should be proselytizing. Proselytize here. Okay, right. Don't be looters anymore, so I can combine these armies. Also, you shouldn't be there anymore. After years of careful planning, Hein Saremai from the court of Chief Lepete of Riga has raised a large army of exiles merchants, hopeful declaring his intention to bless his claim by force. What is your claim? Sarma. Right, I should be holding that. Chief is Pihla of Sarma. Pihla, you are frail and fat. Would you like to be my vassal? <laughs> no, you should be at peace and you are fighting against that uh, host there. Hmm. Well, you can deal with that, hopefully we'll deal with the Danes here. Alright, and there's this... wait, fort? There was a fort here. Interesting. Whoa, we just stack wipe 1,400 guys. Oh, Rauha died. Huh, infected wound. Who wounded you? And why? Well... Where were you? Why are you saying that this guy was your vessel? I'm pretty sure you were in our court. No, all of your children are... Okay, some of them are here. Once in Rovaniemi... Why are your children all around the world? Once in Sakala. And one is in the Jabber team clan here. What? What? This is weird. I guess you were matrilineally married, so you were in our court before all of this happened. Well, maybe you just took one of your children with you when you left, went back to wherever is it it's you're from. Wait, why are we losing troops? Hey, imprison some people. That is very nice. Are they worth any money? Yes, they are. Good. And someone needs an education. You can have a martial education. 
let's just uh, assault this temple here. And where is the capital of Denmark? Hey, there's some Danish folk over there. Hmm. Sure, let's go hang around like here. If they want to attack us, then they can attack us over the water and have a lot of negative effects for that. Grand Chief Erp of Saxony. Ooh, well that's not good. He's got troops. Well, as long as we just stay right here, as long as we stay right here, there's no way they can get to the lands. They hey, what? Why isn't this sieged? Didn't we just go and siege it? Or did we forget to siege it? Okay, you need uh, martial education. Oh yeah, we just didn't siege it. Oops. Siege of Borowichi tribe defeat. Oh right, it's this goddamn rebellion here. Raiders! Damn raiders. Where are you from? Oh, you are Ophag's hoist of the house dowry. Ha. Huh. Well, you are gonna get killed at some point as well. Okay, let's quickly... Is my mother here? Yes, mother is here. Good. Also, I am here. And now Pichla is the heir. I don't actually want to lead troops right now. Then again, mm, we already have some council power lowered, so it doesn't matter that much. Okay, these guys are clearly coming to here, so let's just go and up. Oh, I would have wanted to go through Dahl to not get the uh, crossing penalty, but uh, it's fine. We got loads more troops than they have, so doesn't really matter. Right, won that battle. And uh, we're pretty close to winning this war, so I'm all thinking about just sending these guys to get to deal with the peasant revolt here. Mm, I could uh, actually... Let's... Can we remove the retinue here? Yes. I think you are the retinue. So retinue, you go and smash that peasant revolt while the rest of the army stay here. And you're gonna get a humility focus, Uoti. Who are you? You're my nephew. Right. The rest of the army go... I don't know, go to Blaking. Why are you suffering from attrition again? Alright, because it's winter. That's why I actually need to lead the troops here. Uh, go back to leading, because we are a winter soldier. As soon as we finish this siege, which we can just do with an assault, I'm pretty... No! I just hate it when these are worth like zero war score. Mm, well, let's go to the Danish capital then and siege that. That should be worth some war score. I'm pretty sure we're gonna win this battle here. My niece! Mm, sure, let's be rivals. Okay, now... This war is done, and false demands, thank you. You guys head to closest uh, finish lands, and we're gonna need to start giving away these areas here, so is this still the correct thing here? Yes, who's got the highest marshal? What the... Oh, consort! Right, I need to get some consorts for myself as well. All of it, you can get Westfold, County of Westfold, there you go, and uh, also you can get Akashus, and Ahma, you can get Bahuslen. Right! Now, who is the Swedish leader? It's still Ragnar. Now, Ragnar, we want to put you as a uh, special interest once again, because uh, we want to know if you die. Put down the troops. Put our mother back to organizing the army. Oh, I should have put the trained troops. And also, I have a good amount of prestige, so let's see if we can build some stuff. Actually, Let's build a market town here in Pohyama. Let's build a... But do we need piety for anything? Like, we need that 300 piety to get these guys. 
So I think we're gonna hold on the piety for, for a while yet. But we're gonna just start spending more prestige here. So let's do... Hmm, another warrior gathering ground here. And... Kainu, we're gonna do... A weaponsmith. And in Sortavala, we're going to do more war camps. And can we do anything in Kakisalmi? Nope. Okay. So let's go crush this peasant revolt. And then I think we're gonna have to be in peace for a while. Let's cross the river, it's fine. Oh, this is his favorite toy is missing, and he won't be go to bed without it. Ah, uh, I'll offer to buy a new one. So he became fussy. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. I don't really even know who this is. It's just my nephew. Hey! Truces are expiring with Ragnar. So we can just attack him. We okay, so Ragnar, you don't need to actually be a special interest anymore. Let's uh, finish this peasant war. Let's uh, sacrifice you. No, we can't sacrifice you. We don't sacrifice the gods. We can't ransom you either. Mm, well, we'll just keep you in prison so that we can sacrifice at some point. Can we inspire meliorism in ourselves? Yes, we can, and it's gonna cost us 500 prestige. So, we're gonna wait until we actually have the 500 prestige. And since we're gonna be have uh, the peace is ending with Ragnar pretty soon, we're just gonna head over here and be prepared to attack who? Chief Igor of Minsk. Bloody hell. Do we have any lands here? No. Also, could we attack Sarma? <gasps> yes, we can. And uh, these. They, they, they took. They took it from. From my family. So, of course, we're gonna go and declare war for it. We have a claim on it. So, we're just do a conquest of the claim. What do we get from the claim? 100 prestige. From a conquest, we get 100 prestige and 50 piety. So, I think we're gonna do a conquest for Sarma here. And. Mm, let's raise these troops here. Is that enough? 2,000 and uh, let's take a little bit more. Let's take the ones from Kainu. That should be enough to deal with that war. Everyone go to Nava. Tommo has improved significantly. He gained two Marshall. That's fine. I could hear someone sneaking around inside and believe it to be a burglar. When I went downstairs I discovered Tuliki opening one of my letters. Well, I don't think I want to be cruel, so she could use some practice reading, yes, she could. Can we actually do feasts? I was just thinking, no, we can't, because only Catholics can do feasts. Hmm. Be nice, because feasts are nice, because they can get, help you get rid of vassal levies. Bloody hell, I don't want your troops, priestesses. Stop giving them to me when I raise my own troops. Yeah, feasts are nice, because feasts can help you get rid of... Uh, Arbitrary and turn into just So where are you guys going? I don't really even care Is mother here? No, because mother is still the marshal Should maybe have another marshal Ooh, Lemmiki You should also be a commander. Why are you not a commander? Yeah, you can be a commander instead of Ratek And uh, okay mother just don't organize the army anymore. Just come here and help us siege this place down Oh no, I have a cough. Please don't die, please don't die. Where is that I'm developing smallpox? Is there smallpox around here? Chief Soini kept you up late for days stargazing with him. To reconnect with the moon, he said. Do we have anyone who'd like me more to be our actual uh, court physician? Like Otso here, he's even better. Yeah, Otso, you are our court physician from now on. But I also have chest pains. Chief Otz of Arcus states that his extensive medical experience leads him to the certain conclusion that your symptoms point to cancer! Well, let's hope that I don't have cancer. Chief Otz locked you in your chambers accompanied by a small lizard. When the lizard has died, your chest pain should ease. I'm not sure that did anything. Okay, finished the siege over here. So, let's just uh, quickly assault the temple. And that is a 100% war score for this war, so let us just take that. We'll give that temple to 
Oh, you are already of our religion, so that's fine, you can just keep your temple. And we're gonna give this uh, Sodom up back to... I'm just gonna give it back to my sister who used to own it. Yeah, cuz... Uh... <laughs> Why not? It's not like I need it. Okay, you take it. Also, why are people voting for you and not for the person I want? My candidate is still ugly and out of shape. Come on, Meta, start eating! Right, uh, let's put down the troops. Let's send these guys over here. And once these guys get here, then we're gonna declare another. Oh, I have cancer! Bloody hell. Well, the court physician chief Otso of Akasus has come to see you and offers treatment for your illness. He explains that there are several different types of treatment he can offer. My life is in your hands! Please cut the cancer out of me. Chief also informed you that he had identified the tainted tissue which was the root of your disease and that removing it would most likely cure you. You were most pleased and agreed to the surgery. However, in hindsight, you wish that also told you that the tissue was your face. The treatment was successful, but I paid a heavy price. Okay, so we're gonna be disfigured and severely injured for a while, but at least we don't have cancer anymore. So we had face cancer. Oh, we're over vassal limit! Interesting, so that means that we're gonna have to do at least one duchy, but that requires quite a lot of money Hmm Okay, so instead of just attacking Sweden, we're going to actually go raid Sweden Because we're gonna need the money to make that one duchy so we're not over our vassal limit so There's no point in warring to get more vassals if we are over the limit and Chief Deskuka will be taught about Lightfoot troops. Seize that tribe. Did we get a prisoner? Bloody hell, so some. What? Who are you, Hawker's host? Why are you raiding me? You got a boat. Go raid some of the Catholics. Bloody hell. Okay. Let's just go and. Uh, we're gonna wanna steal all of this money first, though. Hey, technology points, nice. And Christina, who is my niece, became a Grey Eminence. That's nice. Hey, maybe we should vote for her as the next... Yeah, some people are already voting for her. Okay, let's see. Who would be the best? Christina has the highest marshal. Hey, so we're, we're actually gonna vote for Christina then. And let's steal the rest of this money. Money stolen. Let's start heading this way. So crush those damn raiders. And my severely injured thing went away. Stop stealing money from me. Bloody hell. And I'm pregnant. And I have a claim for Chieftain of Vienna. Yeah, use it. Let's definitely use it. And then we are going to revoke the chieftain from you. Please don't war. Hmm. This is going to be my first child and I feel completely lost. What if I am doing something wrong? What if something bad happens? What should I do while I wait for the day of my labor? Well, pray I need to rest or I need to find something to distract myself from this burden. I think I'll take the praying here, because, uh, you know, I'm the leader of our religion, so praying seems like something I should be doing anyways. And uh, build a warrior gathering ground in Olu, and Sarak has gone out of his way to ensure both our child and I receive uh, the favor of the gods. He has personally organized this year's Harvest Festival and elected me to portray Akka herself during the celebration. Hope it will help me deliver a strong, healthy child. I am truly flattered. Also. I don't think I want to be married to you, because we are not married matrilineally, so... Arrange a divorce! It's gonna cost me money! Ah, oh, it's fine. And then, uh, get me a new husband matrilineally that has good diplomacy. Like this Arzo here. I am fine with him. Right, we're gonna raise these troops here to help our retinue to deal with these raiders. And... 
as I administer another blessing wearing Akka's regalia, I wonder if she is the goddess of life and fertility, how can she also be portrayed as virtuous? Is the drive that allows her to bring life to the world more important than her demeanor? Hmm, chaste or lustful? No, we're gonna be lustful. She inspired lust in all of us so we can create life. Yes. And I got the chiefdom of Vienna. Good. And I think we're gonna end this episode here. First of all, I'm just gonna put my chancellor here. And yeah, we're gonna continue this in the next episode. I'm a cop. Uh, this has been Crater Kings 2 Holy Fury Olu Madness. Bye, world. Thanks for watching. See you next time.